Huzzah! Hi! Hey guys, welcome to the to today's stream. <laughs> I'm Little Jack Lip of the Amateur Sleuth Blog here today with Tess. And we are playing Nancy Dr Why is that saved right there? I need to get that out of the way. <laughs> well, That's going to be... Yeah, I don't want them to see that. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal. It's a welcome sign. So, uh, We are playing Nancy Drew, Secret of the Old Clock, in honor of Nancy Drew's 88th anniversary when the books were first released April 28th, 1930. At least the first book was released on the 28th, and then like a day after was the next one, and the day after was the third book. The first three books released that week. All right away. Which is awesome. It's already starting to so, get warm in here, too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a hot day here in Washington. It's surprisingly warm. It's like, what, it in is. the 70s? And that's really rare for us at this time of the year. I know. It's, it, well, it's, it's been, like, like really cold. Like, in the 50s or 40s and stuff. Although, well, really cold. Yeah. I mean, compared to a lot of people, probably not as much. But Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, your shirt, little Jacqueline. Yeah. What's on your shirt? The sign of the twisted candles, which is my favorite Nancy Drew book. This is the art from the original number nine. I think it's number nine. I don't know. The numbers were a little bit. I think the numbers were the same. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. The original, original, original. Not revised. <laughs> Forty-five ish today for you. Eighties in or oh, yeah, you're in Oregon. It's pretty close. Wow. Seven degrees in Illinois. It's crazy. And it's like some people have still been getting snow. Which yeah, is like Colorado. <gasps> it's insane. My goodness. Hello, spring. Yes. Hello, spring. Come on, spring and summer. I'm ready for it. Yes. Anyways, uh, we have a whole <laughs> bunch of pri Well, not a whole bunch. We've got four mugs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pause. There. Not pause, but I'm going to freeze this. Because it keeps unfocusing and focusing and then oh. not finding you. And then, you know. <laughs> Well, you know. Yeah. Silly camera. We need to focus. Anyway. Yes. What was I saying? Uh, mugs. Thank mugs. you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, in, as you saw in the slideshow, we are giving away exclusive mugs that we are making specially for this anniversary. And they're not available in any stores or anything. These are just special giveaway prizes to celebrate next year's 88th anniversary. Mm -hmm. To win these mugs, there are a few different ways you can do so. One, by showing up. Hey, you're all <laughs> eligible. You yeah. Good job, everyone. We'll randomly pick someone at the end of today's stream, just because. Yes. Another thing that we're looking for is midway. Uh, so we're going to be playing for two hours. We're going to take a break at... Uh, actually, you know what? We're only going to play for an hour and a half, I think. Because we have not very much left to go. Oh, really? Yeah. And I want to make sure we have enough content for tomorrow. Actually. So we're only going to play for an hour and a half. So in about 45 mi 40 minutes, we're going to take a five-minute intermission break. And um, before we go to break, I'm going to ask you a trivia question. During intermission, you have one chance to answer your answer mm -hmm. in chat. <laughs> um, one, well, yeah, and we'll randomly select from all the correct answers one lucky winner to win the mug. Yes. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and announce that winner as soon as we get back from intermission. Oh, okay. Because today, I'd like to make it a little bit more exciting and announce winners as they show up. Oh. So the other way to win is we're looking for two keywords. Yes. So some of you started mentioning that, yes, we're still doing that as well, so. Two keywords, so two chances to win in that. And um, what a keyword is, is that we want you, you, nobody knows what these keywords are. They're different from the other days. Mm -hmm. What's gonna happen is that you guys need to be chatting and chat, asking questions, commenting on things, helping each other out, nudge us to do something, tell us to go in directions, help us out with puzzles and stuff and hints and things like that, Yeah. but no spoilers. Yeah. No spoilers. In spoilers include what's about to happen, mm -hmm. and then don't tell us who the culprit is, just in case, or the culprit from any game. Yes. Just in case someone has not played that game and doesn't know what's going to happen. Yes. Also, please keep the chat feed to a PG family-friendly rating. Um, we have younger people that are in the um, in the audience, so we like to keep that friendly for them. We're also playing a drinking game, Yay! as per usual. Um, this is just for fun. Yeah, just for fun. So, um, are we still doing the same one from last week? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the word or words that is going to be, so if you see it written, if you see it said, if you hear it, if you, all that kind of stuff, it's Josiah Crowley. So if you hear either Josiah or Crowley or Josiah Crowley together, then you take a drink of whatever beverage you prefer. And what do you have today, mm. Jack Lowe? I have a really sugar caffeinated 
Frappuccino cold drink from Starbucks. This is the vanilla one. Mm -hmm. So, oh my goodness, here we go. Sugar and <laughs> caffeine. Worst combination for me to have, but entertaining for you. Oh, yeah. What you got? I got pretty much the same thing, except mine is chocolate. Cheers. So mocha. Yeah. Yes. I love these kinds of bottles, too. They're, they're old-fashioned milk bottles. Oh, like, they're the too. shape of the like old-fashioned milk. Yeah. Yeah. Glass bottles. Which is nice. I, I feel like you could reuse them for, like, they would make, if you could somehow, like, take the label off, they'd make really cute faces. I know how to take these labels off. <gasps> you do? What you do is wait for this to be, like, room temperature. Mm-hmm. And you go and boil water in the kettle. Pour the boiling water into the, into the, the jar. Yeah. And wait, like, five minutes for it to heat up the glue or residue that's behind oh. this. And then all you do is just peel it right off, and it comes right off in one piece. I do that with other beverage bottles because I like the bottles. Yeah, it's just fun. And I know? turn them into vases, <laughs> which is such a good idea. You know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Go you know, green. actually, I'm going to save this very bottle and save it as a vase. You should. And I'm going to bring in some camellia flowers for tomorrow, which I can put them in. <laughs> It'll be good. Yes. It'll be grand. Yes. Try try wash. Else we'll talk about the sale. Well, we can mention the sale a bajillion times. This game is avail is is on sale for fifty percent off, and it's the digital download in English or in French, mm -hmm. which pr pretty much brings it down to like five dollars. Yes, so it's a great gift for you, or it's a great gift for someone who you would like to introduce to the Nancy Drew universe. So, yeah, definitely take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. so. And that's that sale lasts to end of day Sunday. Yes, so be sure to get that. Get it while it's hot. It. Yeah. Yes, we're going to be super caffeinated oh, today. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be awful great. It's going to be me. Thank yeah, you. that I I am in tesh mint, mint yeah. Uh yeah, don't <laughs> heat the glass too quickly. Make sure it's the glass is at least room temperature, yes. if not a little bit warm so that you don't That's why I said don't do it, don't do it when it's like cold. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah, I think isn't it like if it's too rapid of a change then it breaks. Something yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, too fast. Science. The mugs will be sent out as soon as we receive them in our office because we're still working on making those mugs. Mm -hmm. So we will be sending them to you, so not to worry if you're been. Uh, good luck with your test, Rose Hollow. Do a good oh, job. Yes. Focus hard. Good luck. Yeah, I do like the soundtrack, Me Bucky. Me too. Fantastic. It's so happy. Oh, hello, Rick. You're wearing the, the checklist um, <laughs> T-shirt. That's fantastic. Oh, speaking of T-shirts, um, we're still working on the Zippies design. Getting it up on Amazon. Apparently, Amazon thinks that we don't have the license what? for Nancy Drew to sell Nancy Drew stuff. Oh, no. So we have to prove to them that, hey, yeah, we've got the license for Nancy Drew stuff. As soon as we prove that, then we can sell more t-shirts, which is kind of frustrating. I know. Well, it's been, like, we've been having shirts on there for a long I, time. I know. They're, so it's they're like cracking down on copyright things. And we're like, <laughs> we have the rights. I, <laughs> I made this from scratch. <laughs> I promise I can I show promise. you the Photoshop file. I know. I'm looking forward to the day when we have like a major merchandise store again. I know. And we can have posters and mugs phone and cases and, and mugs and, and, and the what what That's a mouse pad. Mouse pad, yeah. <laughs> hey, does anybody else still use mouse pads today? Because I sure do. I like mouse pads. If it's a good mouse pad, if it's a good yeah. quality one. But yeah, if you guys want to support us, buy any of the t shirts that we still have on Amazon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. T shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, although it's now that it's getting warmer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get one of the hoodies um, more designed. Yeah, which I love. I love hoodies. A yeah. good hoodie is just really nice to just mm -hmm. have around. It's just very comfy. Yeah. So. What what shirts, what Nancy Drew um, merchandise do you guys have yourselves? Let's get into the game. Let's okay. turn on the game. Good call. Whoa. <laughs> check, check, check. And we are intellectually above <laughs> I can't even <laughs> say it. Intellectually <laughs> above so there, here I'm gonna let you play for a little bit. I'm gonna focus on some other things, and I need to get you zoomed in a little bit better on the camera. Cool. What were we doing, you guys? What What do we need to do next? Um, let's see. Well, we've got some cool stuff. Let's look at our task list. Oops. Oh, we need to take the quartz, or, or um, we need to take stuff to what's his face. I'm finished with that. Finished. Finished. Right. Did we get um? What do we have in our inventory? Um. I haven't done that yet. Sorry about the thing. Bumping of the camera ah. stuff, you guys. That's all good. We need the needle. Let's top it. All right. The needle and um, the crystal quartz. 
Yes. How did we get the crystal quartz again? Um, didn't we find Top, it? Topham said something about it. Oh, oh. Oh, we already looked there. Oh, um, okay. we looked. That's how we kind of jumped ahead on that one, didn't we? Yeah. Go back to the tunnels under the sofa. Um. Oh, Black Rose, you got the It's Locked hoodie? Cool. And then the, the Shout Out the Water's Edge t-shirt? Great. Of course. Go to Waddell's. Oh, okay. Oh, and then have them, like, appraise it or something, or... Something. Something. I don't remember. You guys all have great ideas. I think we'll try to follow up on all of them. But... Oh, oh, and how much money do we have? <sighs> That's a great question. We have 125. Okay, um... Do we need to deliver more telegrams? Well, I'm thinking, for the sake of showing off another puzzle that people rarely think about or know about, run over every pothole and every mud. <laughs> Doing donuts in the middle of the street. Oh, and push the H button. I love that. Aruga. We have not done the sewing yet, but we um, need things. <laughs> Run over all the potholes, Nancy. And in the mud. Oh, great. Oh, no. Yes. Well, I guess I'm going to have to change it myself. Yes. Uh, whoa. Okay, this is classic of the actual Nancy Drew classic books. This happens all the time. Nancy's got a flat, or she runs over something. There. I hope I don't get another flat, but I better go to the gas station and get my spare fixed, just in case. Good call. Go to the gas station. Dee 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 dee. Yeah, who here, just, just tell me if you know it or not, who here knows if there's an Easter egg and you know how to get it? Well, man. Welcome to Zippy's, where Zipless service is Zippily zapped, and Zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Uh, yes. Just 25 cents Oops. worth, please. Okay. Yes. That'll be 25 cents. Here you go. Drive Zippily. Ask it to. Okay, oh yeah. Sure. Welcome to Zippy's, <laughs> where Zipless service is Zippily zapped and Zippy service is the zippiest. Say it Fill with us, up. guys. Could you please <laughs> fix my spare tire? You betcha. That'll be $5. Is it? I have no idea. <laughs> there you are. Good as new. Yes. That'll be $2. I mean, but I don't have $2. You don't? No. Hmm. Got ourselves quite a conundrum here. <laughs> Tell you what, I've got a whole drawer full of bolts and washers and such in there. You put them all away in the right bins, and we'll call it even. You got a deal. Zippy said I can only get two wrong. Oh, you'll only get two wrong. All right. Okay, so you're sorting pieces. Okay, so far so good. Let's see, this thing is there. This thing is. There. <laughs> you don't like this puzzle, Mrs. Madison Caitlin? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is no bueno. Oh, <laughs> no. Bolts and washers. Oh, only get two wrong. I was thinking... Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes me feel better. Ah! Okay, wait. This is... Um... Uh, this is a bigger one, I think. So this one's gonna go there. And that's a tiny thing. This one's gonna go there. I hope this is right. I know, right? You guys are probably all just really good good detectives because sorry you, you didn't do it right <gasps> oh, no. you're gonna have to start over oh you guys see the logo on the top right of the screen it says zippy gas that's part of the design for the t-shirt if you haven't seen that t-shirt yeah. already but. okay so far so good i was gonna say something i forget what i was gonna say uh was it zippies or right yeah you guys were such good detectives because you always made sure to never run out of gas and never um you know, bust a tire, so you rarely saw, if, if at all, saw this puzzle. Because this is the puzzle that's um, a last resort if you can't afford anything at Zippy's Gas. Happy early birthday, Neon Leon! Happy early birthday! Uh, I definitely remember I had to do this puzzle um, because I was never a very good driver in this game, so... Oh, wait, really? We had to do this one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny screw is there? Yes, there is one tinier. All right. You can take the lantern. You can over there, over the top right. 
Uh, I can't take it. Maybe we could take it after. Maybe. We'll just wait until he's like, good job! And then... Yeah. Um, okay. <coughs> do, do, do. Um, Woodland Mermaid, I'm not quite sure what you mean, but... Um, the similar driving experience that you have in this game is is just like in Trail of the Twister, when you can drive three different kinds of cars in Trail of the Twister. Um, and then it's also kind of similar to the driving along the map in Ransom of the Seven Ships in the golf cart. Am I missing another driving game, you guys? Mm, not that I can think of. Not that I can think of. I think those are just those three, yeah? Tasha Bree, that was by sheer accident that we dressed up the same in the first Twitch stream. <laughs> that was just oh, a no. coincidence, but it was cool. Okay. <laughs> I think. Snorkel. You did it. Albuquerque. You See, are I can do free it to go. Hello, Rick. Just remember, drive zippily. I have got to figure out a way to make some money so I don't <laughs> have to do that again. <laughs> oh, oh, my. We couldn't take the lantern. We couldn't take the lantern. Okay, back to Waddell's. Right. I just had to show you guys that. That's all. Oh, are we gonna have enough money? I think we have. Oh, we have a dollar. We have okay, a dollar. All right. Hopefully, it's enough. Whoa! Nancy. But I don't have two dollars. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Why did you ask now what? I need Whoa, for you to what? cut a blank from this piece of quartz. No big deal. Let's see it. <laughs> the blank needs to be just like the one you made before oh. for Josiah Crowley. Crowley. Like I said, no big deal. You're gonna have to cough up two dollars, oh. though. You can pay me when you pick it up. Good day. I don't cough up money. I'm not made of money. <coughs> Here's five dollars. There you go. Thank you. Oh, that'd be gross. <laughs> I know. Okay, back yeah. to delivering telegrams. Yep. What's in our um, inventory right now? Do oh. we have any? We... Yeah. No. No. Nope. No, maybe we have to go back to Tubby's. I think so. Tubby! Tubby, give us some money! Quartz. Quartz is... Hand up telegrams. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Ah, here yes. we go. Did you deliver that telegram? Oh, cool. I sure did. Yay. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Deliver this to Miss Temple at Lowood Academy. Keep up the good work. Lowood Academy. Where's Lowood Academy again? Uh, was that on the side? We do have a map, right? Yes. Let's look. Ah, no! Continue. Continue. <laughs> 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 I, I know. It's like... Okay, let's see. Lowood. It's not on the map. <gasps> Tell us, is it which quadrant? Upper right, upper left, lower left, lower right? Lowood Academy. Maybe um, the one person. Okay, a few people say top right. Top right? Okay. Yeah. Do -do -do. Here we go. We're going up right on the map. What are Plus. the Lowood. And two state line. Very uh, exciting. Dead end. Oh no! Look at the Oh, it's what across car? from Tubby's? It what? is? I didn't see that. What? Is it up? No. I think that would. There's County Courthouse. Is it on the other street? One nice nicer nail. There oh, it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, behind Hello. it. Hello, I've got a <laughs> telegram for Miss Temple. I am she. <laughs> we teachers don't get paid much, you know. I understand. Uh, did this by any chance used to be the Brewster Academy? Why, yes it did. Thought so. Bye! That's a reference to something. I don't know what it is. Who remembers what that's a reference to? Was it a reference to the 1930s in some sort of way? Like a Shirley Temple? Or was it a reference to something in the books? I don't know, because you would think with Miss Temple if it was Shirley yeah. Temple. Did you deliver that telegram? I no, sure did. Lower Good for you. Pitch. Here's your money. Younger. And here's your next telegram. This one goes to Dr. Ackerman out at the Deer Mountain Resort. Keep up the good work. Oh, that's the place with the paved street, paved driveway. Oh, how long it was over here? Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. It's so fancy. Mystery Cat, we are using OBS, Open Broadcaster Hello, software. I'm delivering a telegram mm. to Dr. Ackerman. I shall deliver it to the good doctor forthwith. <laughs> he rarely tips, and I never do. That's okay. Bye. Um, yeah. I always thought it was really funny. Just like that, the whole idea of just like being snooty or whatever at these nice mm -hmm. restaurants. It's like, well, hey, I mean, if you're a paying customer. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. 
And here's your next telegram. This one's for Old Man Johnson out at his farm. Keep old up the good work. Johnson, Ooh, Johnson farm. Farms in the left side of the screen. Yeah, if not, yo. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, damn. damn. Or is it? A, I don't remember. That's Bosch's dairy. Bosch. Oh, okay. I've only got half a tank of gas left. Ow. I should gas up before I forget. I need to get gas. Whoa, oh, hello. Good. Are you Mr. Johnson? Maybe. Who are Maybe. you? <laughs> well, my name's Nancy Drew, and if you are Mr. Johnson, I've got a telegram for you. Well, thank you. Hey, do you want a tip? <laughs> sure. Buy low, sell high. Thanks. I'll remember that. <laughs> we got our first real tip, you guys. True. That's cause for celebration. Take a drink. Yay! Just like Crowley, everyone. <laughs> get the next telegram and then we'll get some gas. Cool. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Go to the railroad station and deliver this to Willie Joe. Keep up the good work. Willie Joe? Wait, where? Uh, the, the, the train station, I think? Oh, okay. To Willie Joe! Do do do. What? What? Um, can you not go there? Is it not there? Hi, oh, I'm oh. supposed to deliver this right. telegram to Willie Joe. Is that you? No, I'm Willie Joe's Uncle John. I see that she gets it though. She? She with a capital S. Well, bye. <laughs> well, bye. All right. Yeah, I feel like if it's an I E spelling, it tends to be more feminine. I think. Yeah, so. Something like that. Like the, like did the you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Take this to Phil Connor out at Krollmeister Nails. Oh, Keep yeah. up the good work. Like right across the street? Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Nice. We'll that, I have a telegram for Phil Connor. I'm Phil. Thank you. I got a tip for you. Here. Ow! That's a nail! <laughs> that's what we make here. Nails. <laughs> Beauty, ain't she? Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Mr. Connor. Bye. <laughs> Uh, we need to get gas at some point. All right. Did you deliver that telegram? There we I go. sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This one here is for Helen C. White. She's at the library. Keep up the good work. All Isn't right. that nearby? It's like down south. Uh, here it is. Yes. Well, look at that. I have a telegram here for... Shh. You are in a library. <laughs> in a library. <laughs> this telegram is for Helen C. White. Who? Helen C. White. Bill and Steve Wright. <laughs> Helen C. White. Shh. Here. <laughs> Telegram for Miss White. I'll give it to her. Thank you. You're welcome. What? Never mind. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's like, calm down, man. Did anybody... Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Hmm, this one goes to Molly out at Vash's Dairy. Keep up the good work. Anyway, sorry. Uh, you should get some gas. Did any... What? Uh, did any of you guys ever in your life have a librarian who was just mean and grumpy and very, or just very insistent about you being quiet in the library? Welcome to Zippy's, <sighs> where zipless service is zippily zapped and zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Just 50 cents worth, please. I can't believe gas used to be this cheap. That'll be 50 cents. Here you go. Drive zippily. Right. Yeah, my hometown librarians were super nice, and they were just absolute sweethearts. They were like the people that you want as your aunts and grandmas. But in college, oh my goodness, the librarian was so, so irritable about <laughs> you talking in the library. And the thing was, the library in our college was actually a really good hangout spot for people to meet up study together, talk about projects, and it was really good. So talking was kind of hard. It was easy to talk to each other in the library, but then if she heard you, she would go, shh! <laughs> Stop talking! It's like, whoa! Hello, Mr. Waddell. Are okay. you done making that blank? Have you got my fee? Right here. Good. Here's the blank I cut for you. Enjoy! To Josiah Crowley. Mm -hmm. Here, here. <laughs> Yay, we got our things. Woo! Okay. Okay, we needed a needle. Is that what we needed? Is that what was on our task list? Um, that's a great question. Sorry, just like I'm going to stop somewhere, so that way the dairy telegram. Oh, well that works. Uh -huh. But yeah, I wanted to stop so we didn't run out of gas while we we're looking at our task right. list. Right. Chat. 
I'm finished with Jack. that. Jack. Okay. Oh, I need, that we need to talk to Jane. Oh! Oh yeah, that's right, because we finished doing pie stuff. Jack. I haven't done... Can't check that off till it's done. Can't check that off till it's done. Mm. That's okay. done. I think we got everything else done. Yeah. Okay, cool. alright. So, talk to Jane then next. Perfect! Let us go. We didn't call our friends at all. Thanks for doing the pies. The more I do it, the worse I seem to get at it. Here's that uh, box. I'm sure that sewing machine needle is in there somewhere. I see it's it. It's right there. <laughs> Remember, when it comes to using it, you're on your own, kiddo. Well, she, I'll talk to you later. Alrighty, dighty. Is she blind? <laughs> Apparently. Wait, we're being told to call Bess and George. <gasps> All right. We have to pay for that, you guys. I don't know if we have money for that. Uh, I go outside. I know we have. We have twenty-five cents. We have twenty-five cents. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Drop a nickel into the slot, oh. please. Very good. Now, how may I be of service? Uh, best Hi. Could you please connect me with Best Marvin at KL five four four six eight? Just a second. Whoa. Hello. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. George, get over here. It's Nancy Drew. Oops. So how's the lilac in? Beautiful. Beautiful. Are the lilacs blooming? Like crazy. They smell so good. It's like the air is made of perfume. Hi, Nancy. Is that you, they George? Are, Ouch, are that's amazing. my phone. Move over. But I can't hear. <laughs> then I can't hear. Look, just hold the phone like this, okay? There. Can you hear us? I can hear you fine. It would be so nice to have two phones in this house. We don't even have a telephone at our house. It's a quick griping. <laughs> so, Nancy, what's the scoop? Um... Let's do Emily well, Crandall. Well, I talked to Emily Crandall. Well, I talked to Emily Crandall. Bess was telling me that you don't really well, know her that well. talked to Emily Bess Crandall. I just know her through Helen Corning. <laughs> the last time I saw her was at Helen's 15th birthday party. I saw her last year at Helen's recital. Hello? Is someone on the line? <laughs> Hello? We're on the line, Mrs. Farthingham. Well, get off. I need to make a call. But we just got on. <laughs> then it should be no problem for you to get off. Just give us one more minute, Mrs. Farthingham, please. Oh, all right. You have one more minute. Go on, Nancy. <laughs> what were you saying? Just that I... Shh. Wait a minute. Mrs. Farthingham, would you mind hanging up? Awkward. <laughs> oh, oh, I wish we didn't have to share a phone line with her. Just be grateful you have a phone, Bess. <laughs> Some jewels were stolen out of Emily's room this morning at the same time that a fire destroyed the stove in the kitchen. Destroyed the stove? You mean they can't bake any more cherry pies? Sad. Mm. Not for a while. Emily's worried that she may have to sell the inn. Is that bad? I mean, she's only 17. It gets worse. Emily admitted to me that she's been seeing and hearing things. Jeepers. You can't go Jeepers. batty when you're only 17, can you? Depends on who your cousin is. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't think she's going batty, but I do think something's going on around here. Like what? I don't know. Yet. Yet? Well, I can't just turn around and drive home now, can I? Why not? Because, well, because... Are you girls still on the line? We're not done talking yet. Well, I've been patient long enough. You girls get off right now. But we... Right now, or the next call I make will be to your father. We gotta <laughs> go, Nancy. To your father. Right. I'll call you later. And I'll thank you not to listen in. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Farthingham. Only nosy busybodies listening on other people's phone calls. Yes, well, hang up and be quick about it. Bye, Nancy. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Ugh, that would just be the worst. That would be the worst. Man, having to share a phone line with someone, especially if they're going to be really pushy oh, about it, it's yeah. just like... Mm. Um, yes! One minute, uh, conference in. Sounds good. Yes, I had to mute it for a minute. Um, <laughs> we do have one winner for the keywords challenge already, so yes. we're going to announce that. So, FYI, just a little quick drum roll, please, for the keywords.
keyword was lilac and the person who showed up in our chat feed to say that first was actually rose hollow one yeah. congratulations rose hollow one if Congrats. you could please private message us aka whisper in twitch your name and your mailing address we will send you a mug yes as soon as they get here <laughs> yes but and yes. just for warning you guys um your chat feed and my chat feed sometimes swaps like two people's names around if they're ta if they're talking at the exact same time then it swaps like this so the thing is it looks different it may look different on your screen than it does for our screen but we're looking at what shows up on our screen first so just yeah. fyi just keep that in mind but congratulations congratulations rose hollow one you win a nice little mug you win a mug congrats we're still waiting on one more keyword to show up yes so keep chatting away keep one of you guys will get it it will come yes. up naturally do, do. And you can only win one mug. Yes. Throughout their entire streams. Yeah, so if you've already won a mug in the past few days, then. Yeah, as in last week. Yeah. I bet a needle goes here. I bet you're right. I see you guys are trying to. the dress Jim Archer gave me, and I can start sewing. You've got it. Is that a classic singer sewing machine? Go, Tess, go! Ah! Purple hearts cheering for Tess! Oh, no! <laughs> Skills! <laughs> Wait, how do I go back? How do I go back? Ah! Uh, I don't know. Oh, too many mistakes. I better do it over. Okay. There. Does anybody else have a singer sewing machine or just a sewing machine? Oh, they're saying, don't forget to straighten the picture the next time that. Um, oh, the next time you see it. The next time you see it, yeah. Purple hearts in the truck. <laughs> ah! Close <laughs> enough. No! <laughs> what kind of. What kind of. Pattern makes you do squiggles <laughs> like that. Does, does anyone here so and think that this is a possible valid pattern? <laughs> that <we're sewing? laughs> this is going so well. Look at this beautiful dress. Isn't it? Isn't it constructed is, perfectly? It is so <laughs> not a real pattern. It is not valid, says Mystery Gal. Okay, <laughs> same with Salem the Cat. They're saying no, and HP Fan says it's not valid. Well, it's an answer to your game. Anything can happen. You can uh, make squiggles on a dress, and voila, it's a beautiful dress. <laughs> because it's Nancy. <Nick>. Not that. <laughs> 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 that was the worst. That was the worst. It's like, <laughs> perfect. Yes. Voila. Nailed it. Oh my goodness. Hashtag nailed it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. Uh, oh, straighten the picture. That was beautiful. Why does this picture keep moving? I don't know. I bet Emily's moving it. She just goes over there and it's like, oh no, it keeps moving. Hi, Nancy. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we need to take the dress back to um, Mr. Archer, yeah? <gasps> yes, because then he can give us stuff. Do, 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 do. All right, Needled it. Dainy. I like it. I like that, Sailor Jim. Needled it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that goes perfectly well with this. What um, puzzle or activity in all the Nancy Drew games are you personally just really bad at doing? Because <laughs> I can name a few that I'm really bad at doing. One, that puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Me too! It's crazy! Hey, you got it in the second time. <laughs> True, but barely. Oh my goodness. How's the dress coming? All done. This is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's see if that key you found opens up Josiah's safe deposit box. Ooh. Ooh. That was Josiah's key, all right. Yay! Yeah, it was. <gasps> that is not Josiah's will. Ooh. It looks like some kind of journal. Would it be okay if I kept this? If it was money or jewelry or something like that, I'd turn it over to Tapa. But a journal? Finders keepers, as far as I'm concerned. I like that rule. I'll be at my <laughs> desk if you need me. Yeah, because like, unless, unless it's got my name written in it, and if someone finds it, then it's going to be like, not it's actually naturally. mine. Yeah. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! It's not <gasps> naturally. Oh, oh. oh. Um, um, wait, we're supposed to spell good fellow. Oh, oh, oh. Try that, try that. G. G. O. O. D. F. E? I think that's an E. Yeah. Yeah, because that's an S. L's L. L. O. W. Yes! Yeah! 7.025 megahertz. Fuck. That's who Josiah played in A Midsummer Night's Dream. 
Yeah. Grave his cue and told him what he was supposed- Oh, gave his cue. He's supposed to say in reply. He thought it was a joke, but that's okay. I can trust him. Pyramus. 7.057 megahertz. He was in a foul mood, but I told him his cue and he gave him- Oh, I gave him his reply. I told him to write it down, and he did, because I could hear his pen scratching the paper. Frisbee. 7.050 megahertz. It looks like some kind of record of the people Josiah talked to on his ham radio. Wait a minute. I gave her a line. Okay, line. those were the winners from last time. Okay, just double check. Oh. Uh, we have actually hit our second keyword <gasps> winner, you guys. Ooh! Ding, 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 ding! Ding! Drum roll, please! <laughs> Keyword was flute, and the person who showed up in our feed first to say flute, as in one of the names from these, is Nancy Drew two one seven. Yay! Congratulations, yes. Nancy Drew two one seven. Please private message us, whisper us yes. your name and your mailing address if you want your mug. And we shall send it to you. And we shall send it to you. If you don't want it, just let us know. Yes. And then we would pick a second person. Mm -hmm. But. But in the meantime... In the meantime, we still have two more potential winners later on yes. for the trivia challenge and um, the random, random, random lucky winner. <laughs> so it's very exciting. So good job. And Thank we forgot you guys. to take a drink. Oh, yes. Just sign up. <laughs> I like announcing it live as, as it happens. It's more exciting that way. Mm-hmm. You don't have to... Anything else oh, I can oh. do for you? I guess I'll be going. Nice talking to you. Alrighty, righty <laughs> Don't take any wooden nickels. Okay, so we're heading back to... <clears throat> we're gonna do the radio thing. <gasps> Hooray! Why don't you just relax? Turn on the radio. Would you like am or fun? All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah! Here we go, a wassailing back at the lilac in. Here we go, we're putting in the quartz something. All right. Uh, Could go miniature golfing again. We could for another pony. I would love it. A trivia challenge and a random lucky winner later on. Tasha Bree. Yes. Excuse me. Oops. I think I took the longest possible. The Where longest. Is the thing? Oh, oh I, we, we have to probably pull the switch. Oh, okay. Pull the lever, crunk. <laughs> Wrong lever. It's so cool. This is such a clever setup. Not that it's like super practical, but it's still cool. Ooh. Fun. I'd be afraid of electrocuting myself. <laughs> oh, me too. I'd be like, I'm probably not gonna go up there ever. Okay, new quartz. Right. Have what, Dell? He did a swell job last time. Swell. Oh, yeah. All right, so. What um, other oh, right. That we need? Um, do we know everything that we're supposed to get for this? Um, oh, wait a minute. I think we wrote it down. Or did, is it in the journal? <laughs> Fun fact, you guys. Sorry. Distraction. Total distraction. <laughs> in the strategy guide. Um, let's see if I can show this. Um, no. Here we go. <laughs> and on this very last page where it says on the up and up in the strategy guide, it shows a whole list of, um, I gotta read this to you. Okay. Folks living in the 1930s use different terms than the sayings that we're used to hearing today. Much of the talk around Titusville involves slang from the 1920s jazz age. But here's a little primer for speaking easy in the Prohibition era. All wet. A bad idea or a person making a mistake. <gasps> You want to say this in your accent? We'll take turns. Sure. Blackwater Berg. Backwater. Oh, backwater. No, it's Backwater <laughs> Berg. A remote and stagnant or unchanging town. A place where, oh wait, a place out of the flow of life and news. Bearcat. An aggressive or feisty person. <laughs> Bees knees. It's the greatest. Big cheese. An important person or boss. Bloomers. A long pant style undergarments designed by early women's right pioneer. Oh, Amelia Bloomer, makes sense, in the 1850s. A friend of Susan B. Antony, Amelia Bloomer created her clothing as a less restrictive alternative to wearing heavy skirts for women riding bicycles. We'll do more of these later. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Anyways, That's I was looking, so cool, though. Yeah. There's more in here. 
I think I, I feel like I've seen a picture of the bloomers, and it's like personally, I don't know that I would wear them. Although if you're wearing dresses all the time, then maybe it's like a it's nice to mm. change things up a little bit. But I don't know. Yeah, so there's that. Okay, to call flute at frequency seven seven point zero two point zero two. And then point zero zero five. Zero zero five. There we go. Hello? Okay. Is oh. anyone there? Hello? This is Flute, but you sure don't sound like Puck, so explain yourself. Uh, <laughs> my name's Nancy Drew. So where's Puck? Well, I'm pretty sure Puck's <gasps> real Desiah name is Crowley. Josiah Crowley. And I hate to say it, but he passed away earlier this year. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Heck, I never got to give him his sentence. His yep. sentence? We'll see you a while back. Puck dictated a sentence to me, and told me that if and when he recited a certain passage from Shakespeare, I was to respond with that sentence. Weird fellow, that Puck. <laughs> Could you tell me the sentence? Oh, no. Puck made me promise. I can only say the sentence after I hear the passage from Shakespeare. Hmm. Is the passage from one of his plays? Don if I know. What if I figured out the passage? Would you tell me the sentence then? Uh, I suppose I could do that, yes. Did you know Puck very well? I felt like I did. Met him over the radio a couple of years ago. <laughs> what a character. Hmm? What'd you say his real name was? Josiah Crowley. Strange. I never heard of him. Why is that strange? Well, he led me to believe he was this big cheese out in Hollywood, <laughs> you know, some famous <laughs> producer, director or something. Said he owned his own studio. He didn't own a studio, and he certainly didn't live in Hollywood. <laughs> as far oh, as you God. know. I know. He was just lying to me. Well, that's all right. I may have told him a fib of three over the years myself. <laughs> like the time I told him I was a scratch golfer. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> In any case, you tell me the passage, I'll tell you the sentence. Until then, over and out. All right. Do we know what this Do we know the passage is? I feel like, let's see. Again, this is what's the center I thought it was a joke, but that's okay. I can just, hmm. Can you scroll through? No, what was it? Huck. Pyramus, okay. This mm. knows me as Puck. <gasps> Wait a minute. Didn't we see something over here that said Oh Marcel's old band? This oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how do we know which um symbols we're supposed to be Cause this is hobo sign language. Yeah. How do we know um who is who? Wait, did it say? Wait, wait, go back to the um, the journal, in your journal. Let's oh, 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 yeah, yeah, and that, that, this thing? Yeah. Open that up. Um, let's see. So this is for Flute. Gave his cue home and he was supposed to say reply. He thought it was a joke, that's okay, I can trust him. <gasps> and trust him. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, wait, hang on, so, Flute is, can you trust him? It's like a trustworthy person lives here or something. I don't see anything about... No. That's what are we missing, you guys? Mm -hmm. Trust and pixie dust. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, uh, so we're being told that we need to go to the passages. All right, the underground passages. Ooh. Okay. Wait, what time is it? <gasps> is it it's time? time for intermission. A five-minute intermission, you guys. Perfect. Perfect time. Perfect time. So I good. Can, I can't do that. <laughs> It's Quite hard awful. to sustain. It's, it's like <laughs> it is really hard. Oh, let me switch to. All right, you guys, listen there up. There we go. Listen <laughs> up. We've got a trivia challenge for you. Yes. And this was really about how how closely paying attention you guys were earlier during the first half of today's stream. Mm -hmm. So listen up. Um, it's too long to actually write in the chat. Feed. Write in the chat feed. So listen very closely. I'll say it a few times. So you have a chance to answer one time during intermission break your answer and we will randomly select when we come back from all the correct answers okay mm -hmm. so here's your question trivia question yeah which is which is what was the name of the telegram recipient we delivered to at the railroad station oh the telegram was for who whom 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 at the railroad station that we had delivered today. There was only one delivery. We didn't give it directly to that person, but the telegram was for who? 
To whom? Do we yes. Get it? To, to whom? whom? What was the name of the telegram recipient was delivered to at the railroad station? Yes. The telegram was for this person. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to take a five minute break. Go get your snell, uh, a snack. A snack. <laughs> <laughs> your what now? <laughs> get yourself a snack. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Make it some big cheese. Big something. cheese.
huge gamer. I heard that apparently her is trying to develop these games for VR. I actually miss Lonnie. Thanks. I heard they were switching, but I didn't know to what. There is. It's in the slideshow, Nancy88A, I think. But watch the slideshow to make absolutely sure. I hope to find another actress who can fill Lonnie's shoes because she has a huge part in making do what she is today. No prob. Hey, everyone. I can't find my whisper often. Anyone know how to find it? I've been watching, but I will keep looking for it. Thanks. I'll be... It'll be tough trying to get attached to the new voice, but our love for Nancy Drew will rule. I'm not sure how to whisper. <laughs> <laughs> I love how anyone can play these games, even if they've never been a huge fan of a huge mystery fan. They're good for all ages. I'm relatively new to Twitch. Hear, hear! They did, but it's too young. I don't like it. Oh. Chat bubble left of chat feed. Go to their profile. Dun dun dun. If you're on a computer, it should be at the bottom of the browser window. Do you see a little chat box near the chat feed? There's a whisper option here too. There should be a chat bubble on the left of the chat feed. At the bottom. There's no chat bubble. Oh my gosh, this is again. No, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I started playing these when I was like five. They're doing it again. Peanuts! This again! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the voice in the teaser video is going to be Nancy's voice. Could be wrong, though. It's, if the voice they are using, I agree. I don't like it either. I whispered before, but now it's not there. This is fantastic! Yes, I was waiting for you guys to read the chat. Ha <laughs> ha. Lol again? I'll do that are super awesome! I love peanuts! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Y'all are great. Very funny, LJ and Tuss. Love when they do this. Or Louvre. I am loving this so much. Lol, I'm dying. <laughs> LOL, you're so funny. You peanuts! Huzzah! The Lori voice. Boo! Sparkles! Ah, you scared me. Oh my gosh. Sparkles! <laughs> I'm, I'm a big bag of stupid. <laughs> you guys are catching up. No, <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Sparkles! Uh, okay. <laughs> Cat's books rain half puff. Hockey's amazing. What did I miss? Peanuts comics. Very funny. I don't sound like that. Wow. The microwave is beeping for my chili, but this is so too funny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> go, Bruins, go. Merry Christmas. I want pie, but my oven exploded. Hello. <laughs> I'm cackling. This is beautiful. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I love you. What? Tee hee. You caught me. So confused. Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. We should. We should. We should get back into, like, uh, actually do- Oh, oops, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I forgot to turn you back on. Oh, that's okay. Let me turn you back on. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful Yoa Hobo. This is what makes my day. <laughs> Yoa Hobo. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho. I want cookies! LJ and Tess, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, happy puppy. Wait, no, no, wait. I mean, you too, but, um, Elisha 9. There you go. Yeah. Hello. Wait. <laughs> That was amazing! <laughs> Hello! Here, focus. There. Does it. How do you like me now? Voila! Yeah, I got cookies here. <laughs> eating cookies. <laughs> we have a winner to the trivia uh, question! Yes! Drum roll for the trivia question! Well, hang on, I gotta tell you what the answer is, though, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, the trivia question <laughs> during intermission. Hopefully, you guys are back. Uh, yes, Rose Hollow, we will whisper to you. It's a different feature than actually messaging, so we'll be sure to do that. Don't worry about <laughs> it. We'll get you. Uh, the qu trivia question was, what was the name of the telegram recipient we delivered to at the railroad station? So who did whose telegram was it that we delivered there? Uh, thanks for the host, Ninja Elliot. Oh, yes, thank you. I appreciate you. that. Thanks. And the Look. answer to the trivia question is Willie Joe. Yes. And out of all the correct answers, which is pretty much everybody. I know. <laughs> bravo. <laughs> Our winner is. <laughs> That's probably gonna be real loud. <laughs> <laughs> it is H Willis zero eight one five. Congratulations, H Willis zero one five. You are our lucky winter win winner. <laughs> <laughs> they they could be the winter. I don't know. I've typed everything incorrectly these last few days. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rosella. That's okay. We're not judging base. We're not judging on um typos or anything like that. Oh, no, it's okay. H. Willis 0815, if you could whisper to us as well. Yes. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, I oh. could message. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me, let me just type in. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Felicitations. Ooh. Salutations. There you are. I see Woo. you. There. Congrats. I'm talking to you, Rose Hollow. Yeah, there you go. If you could you provide your Rose Hollow one and H Willis 0815 and Nancy Drew 217, you guys could private message, private whisper, wh whisper <laughs> to us your name and mailing address. We'll get you those mugs. We still have a chance to give away one more mug at the end of today's stream. 
the end of the stream. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's all good. And it's that's just know. one lucky random winner. Yes. Um, oh, and don't forget about the sale, you guys. Yes. This weekend, 50% off the secret little clock. Yes, Nancy Digital. 88 Day. Nancy 88 Day. Woo. Woo. Echo. Echo. <laughs> Oh. Is that one? Is that plugged in over there? Can you charge that? It's over there. It is. Ha ha! That would be good to charge. It's Let's get back into the game. All right. Let us go. We're gonna go for another half hour, you guys. We. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, no, no, you're fine. I shall. I shall let you drive. Everything's working. Check, check. Yeah, looky day. Your turn. Here we go. Up to All right. So then we go. My French is very bad. <laughs> Down to the passages. Maybe. Down to the what? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do, 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 do. Felicity, the door, the door. <laughs> Left. Oh. Right, we're gonna go through the parlor really quick. Um, like the oh, there it is. Wait. Where's oh, the Maybe hook? you have to back up. Not sit on it. Oh, there it is. Thanks, I love when it's do 147. Love you, dude. <laughs> oh, Jacques. Zut de And there's the pig. You're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> oh, that's right. All right. Maybe he's not talking to his students or anything today. Yes, I better not leave the lights on. Uh. I don't hear anybody. <gasps> now would be a good time for me to sneak, sneak inside and have a quick look around. Sneak? Yeah, it is. Oh, we need the book. That was on his desk, because it was Midsummer Night's Dream. I need to give the cat its toy. Oh. oh. Where's the toy? You're Where's the toy? Be quiet. You're disturbing us. But a complaining cat. I know. Ah. Be quiet, cat. Hurry. Shh. There. <laughs> Lazy cat. <laughs> he, somehow he gets this toy across the other side of the room, and he never gets up to go and get it himself. <laughs> Can we take this place? Think about nothing, yes! <gasps> Whoa. Josiah must have circled these quotes. Uh -huh. <gasps> Josiah! Oh. Mm. Thou speakest aright. I am that merry wanderer of the night. Something tells me I better <clears throat> write down all the stuff that's circled here in my journal. Yep, okay. Shall we pawn <laughs> their patency? I or wrote it down in my strategy guide. <laughs> If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended. That, that you have but slumbered here where all these visions did appear. Fun fact, you guys, and this was just me, but when I was in high school, this game came out. And we were actually doing this play! That's awesome! I was on the tech team, so I wasn't actually an actor. I was... I was... But that's still cool, though. To be part of the yeah. production process is really fun. So I saw this play, like, three times for reels, and then, like, rehearsal. A bajillion more times. <laughs> it was funny. Midsummer Night's Dream was funny. <sighs> Is there anything else that we're supposed to be looking at in here, you guys? I have no idea. Oh, oh, there's oh, the way. Okay. That's where we go back. I'm just gonna, whoa. I'm just like, I'm freaking out here. I'm, I'm like petrified that any second he was gonna come out and be like, Nancy, what are you doing here? <laughs> You know, I have never actually seen the play A Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes, I better not leave the lights on. Like we never read it or did it or anything like that in school. But oops. Well, I I did not work on this game. I was in high school at the time, but um, I did get to beta test it. That's cool. This would be a fun one to beta test. Were there any like crazy bugs that you remember? Or? Uh, I think there was. Oh, there were bugs. Yes, I just can't remember what they were. What 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 part did you end up testing specifically, or was it just kind oh, of the whole the whole thing actually? Let's go. So you had a sneak peek of peek of it before it comes out. I think that's pretty bad. Are we supposed to check one of the lanterns? Are we? Oh. Why not? There we go. Power of electricity, everyone. Take notes. This is the kind of stuff that you can build. Study hard. <laughs> and have unlimited resources. <laughs> Alright. 
Here we go. Oh, I think we might have missed something in the... Uh... We did? Should we go back? Is anyone out there? Hello? Later, Can anyone yes. hear me? Okay. Flute here. Is that you, Nancy Drew? Yes, it's me. And I think I know the Shakespeare passage that Puck wanted you to listen for. Let's hear it. Shall... Wait, this is for flute, right? Yes. Shall we their fond pageant see? Shall we their fond pageant see? Lord, what fools these mortals be. That's it. <laughs> yeah, let me check my logbook for the response. Uh, now I'm supposed to say, leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about. Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about? Those were Puck's exact words. Well, hope I've been of some help. Over and out. I think it'd be so cool to meet someone over a radio like this. Just be like, hey, you hanging out on the radio too? Yeah! Cool, let's be friends. Leave by road. So I guess that means hit the road for... Mm. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no Leave more. Leave by no road more, no more. when owner is in. Owner is in. Okay. Okay. Um, and then... Because there will be thieves. Thieves about. Okay. Um, 210. Okay. Right. 210 for flute. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, Hello? So is anyone oh, there? No. Oh, sorry. Hello? This is Pyramus. Who are you? My name's Nancy Drew. Does somebody named Puck usually call you on this frequency? Somebody named Puck used to. Apparently he found something better to do. Haven't talked to him in months. Oh, well, that's because he passed away not too long ago. Oh, well, that's a good excuse, I guess. <laughs> How'd you know he called me Pyramus? I'm a friend of a friend of his. I found your name and radio frequency in his journal. So why are you talking to me? <laughs> Did Josiah, I mean, Take Puck, ever oh, ask oh, you yeah. to tell him something whenever he read a certain passage from Shakespeare? Whenever he rattled off this Shakespeare quote, I was supposed to rattle off this stupid saying he gave me. <laughs> How did you know about that? Long story. But if I were to rattle off the quote, there's no reason why you can't tell me the stupid saying, right? <laughs> well, come to think of it, he never said the quote had to come from him. So, yeah, I guess I could tell you. Raquelina, that sounds like a fabulous dinner. Mac and cheese, avocado, and tomato. <gasps> that sounds delicious. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're supposed to tell him, Thou speakest aright. I am the Thou merry wanderer. Thou speakest aright. I am that merry wanderer of the night. How'd you know? Long story. <laughs> what did he tell you to say in response? <laughs> Wait a minute. I had to write it down. Here. You're gonna love this. <laughs> a barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. A barking <laughs> dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. I told you it was stupid. <laughs> I really appreciate your help. Just out of curiosity, what kind of car did Puck drive, do you know? I don't think he had a car. And he tried to tell me he was rich. <laughs> Over mm. and out. Well, you never know. Maybe he's rich and just didn't need a car. Exactly. He didn't want a car. That's fine. Yeah. I feel like a lot of rich people, like, not, well, mm. I actually don't know. But they could have a chauffeur who owns their own car. Yeah. Okay, frequency seven. Seven. Zero five. Zero five. And then that's zero. Zero. Bam. Thisby, are you there? Hello? I'm Thisby, but only Puck calls me that. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm afraid I have some bad news about Puck. <gasps> oh dear. They closed the play he was starring in, didn't they? That's why I haven't heard from him. He's too far down in the dumps. Oh, I was afraid it was something like that. Actually, you haven't heard from him because he passed away several months ago. Oh my, that's worse, isn't it? And after yeah. all that rigmarole he went through, making sure I knew my line and understood my cue. <laughs> Your cue? Yes, you see, Puck. It does sound like Or glory. whatever his real name it does. is. <laughs> or was. Puck wanted to share his love of acting with me. So he gave me a line to say. A very curious line, I might add, and told me to repeat it only after I heard my cue. A passage written by Mr. William Shakespeare. 
So if I cue you with a passage, you'll respond with the line he gave you to say? Immediately. I know it by heart, you see. Here it goes. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. <laughs> the authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way. The authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way? That's what I was to say, although my delivery was much better when Puck was coaching me. <laughs> and now, as Puck was fond of saying, I bid you adieu. Over and out. Goodbye. I really hope she has a great life. <laughs> They just seem so nice. Lute is a character in okay. a Midsummer Night's Dream. And we have something for Gloria, right? Is there something for Gloria? Oh, is there? For Gloria? In the book. Mm, maybe not. Okay, let's go ahead and enter what we do have down here. All right, up, up here. Sounds good to me. Uh, for Flute, hit that. That. Um... That. Yeah. And the two over ten. Two over ten. Great. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, for Thisbe, it's that. Uh, that. This one? The top one? Oh, sorry. No. Uh, yes, actually, that one. Okay. And then this one. Okay. All okay, right. now, Pyramus, I only have two symbols for Pyramus. I'm not sure if it's correct. Pyramus mm. is like the WW squiggle. W and then um <coughs> that. But I think I'm missing something here. What was it? Uh, um because for Pyramus, Pyramus's line is a barking dog. Uh-huh. So a barking dog is that dome with a circle. No. Oh wait. Yeah, barking dog is the WW. But I don't know what um hold hold your tongue. Like maybe be quiet? Oh, keep quiet. Okay. Okay, unclick that one. All right. Click on that one. This one? Yeah. And then that one. Bottom? Wait. Oh, that was what? him, wasn't it? No. How come we don't know who bottom is? Um. Oh, because it's for Gloria. We're supposed to um, read the line he says to Gloria. Oh. Well. Um, Maybe it's cat. The closing line in the letter just say I wrote to Gloria. What letter is this again? Do we have it? Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, that's Why the pie list. <laughs> uh, maybe it's in the book, right? Door in front of the window seat. In the book. Oh, the one on the bed. Maybe. I bet oh, you right. haven't found it yet. Maybe. No. Because I know that. Ah. I know that there was a book on Emily's bed that he had addressed to Gloria, but I don't know if it contained anything. Well, Do let's go check. We should also go through the passage and take a look at the passage. All right, because apparently we missed, may have missed something in the passageway. Right? Uh, then let us go. Let Quickly. us go. Come hither. Now keep an eye out on all lanterns down. <coughs> all lanterns in the wall all right. as well. Oh, like <gasps> that. That's a pretty significant thing to miss. Wow, we missed that? Oh my, okay. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Do, do, do. This is lovely. We go higher and higher into the into the mysterious tower. Jeepers, I'm behind one of the walls in Emily's room. I'll bet that's how someone makes that picture move. Cool. Oh. Also creepy. That is not okay. That is a huge invasion of privacy. Yeah. Unacceptable. But I love well, the fact that we've got these passages. I know. <laughs> so I cool. asked Jane about the photo I found <laughs> that allowed me to find that staircase that goes behind Emily's room. Ask Jane? Ooh. Guess I better not leave the lights on. I think you should. What if you come back down here and you're in a hurry? Although I guess if you're trying to conserve energy, that's probably better. Hey you! What's cooking? I think I know why Emily has been seeing and hearing strange things. Well, I'm all ears. Tell me. I found a secret passageway that goes from the inn to Josiah Crowley's old house. And off of it, I found a staircase that leads to a space behind a wall in Emily's room. That's the staircase that's in this old picture. Oh, he's holding it. 
The noises that I've always been hearing, the things she's been seeing, it's because someone's been sneaking around behind the wall in her room? Um... Did you know about the secret passageway? No, mm. and I've never heard Emily say anything about it either. I was able to open the staircase because I saw the picture I just showed you. And I found that picture on the shelf in your podium. You mean it was right there under my nose? Hold the phone! You think I'm the one who's been sneaking around? Well, I did find the picture right there. But I've never seen it before in my life. Besides, anyone who's ever been behind this desk could have seen that picture. It's hardly fair to go pointing a finger at me. Maybe Emily will know something about it. She went into town to run some errands. At least that's what I told her to do. Heaven knows she could use some fresh air. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you later. <sighs> Bye now. She's gone. We can go snoop through stuff. Quickly! Quick! Up the stairs! Up here, quickly! And maybe fix the painting, though, too. Oh. Ah. Oh, it's fixed. Oh! Okay. Wait, is this the... Yes! Read that. Read this, and pretty soon this will be your favorite poem, too. Okay, maybe this isn't what we're supposed to be looking for. Oh. Wait. Unless there's something written down here. Is it, like, is it circled? Well, um, okay, look in her drawer. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna find all your stuff! It's ours now! Uh, Marcel. Huh? Oh. Dearest Gloria, if you would do three simple things for me, I would very much appreciate it. First, keep this note for me. Tuck it away in a safe place, and should I ever ask to see it, please allow me to do so. Second, don't mention or show this note to anyone else. Third, don't ask me why. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I mean this from the bottom of my heart. You're a kind lady. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! A kind lady who sparkles like good water. Come and makes me think that the sky's the limit. Okay. That's it. Okay, yeah. I got it. Your grateful friend, Josiah. To Josiah. We should call Bess and George again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, is there anything else can take it? Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry it's taken me so long to answer your letter. I'm still secretary at the bottling plant, and business is booming, so I'm busier than ever. <laughs> In fact, I'm typing this during my lunch break, so please excuse the mustard stains. <laughs> still love those bologna sandwiches. Of course I'll take care of Emily if something ever happens to you. All she has to do is write, and I'll come running. But quit worrying about such things. You've got a nice place to live, and that sweet little girl to keep you company. You've got it made in the shade. <laughs> Me? I'm still in the boarding house. It's not the Ritz, but my ho my room is right across the hall from the washroom. Nice. So most of the gals here are honest and hardworking and fun. But there are a few bad apples, like this gal named Marion Aborn. She dropped in the other day to borrow some bobby pins, so I went to the drawer to get some for her. Only when I turned back around, she was going through my purse. She said it had fallen over and she was just putting it back, but I know what I saw. Aww. Anyway, I sure miss you. I'm investing as much money as I can in the stock market because my boss says it's a surefire way to get rich. So next year, maybe I can take the train out there to see you. Better yet, maybe I'll buy a car. Wouldn't that be a, the butterfly's boots? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for like more that. word trivia or whatever. Butterfly's boots. Wait, is that in here? Probably. <clears throat> that's, that's just beef me. I gotta, I gotta see this. No, it's not. Oh. We should read a couple. Oh, well, let's read a couple um, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Can but we... let's call Bess and George next. Good idea. Let's see. Oh, we can't look in her jewelry box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 Butterfly's do, do, do. boots. No butterfly's wear boots. <laughs> There's a butterfly in my boot. Drop a nickel into the slot, please. Very good. Now, how may I be of service? Hi, could you please connect me with Bess Marvin at KL54468? Just a second. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy again. Stay off my feet this time, okay? Oh, <laughs> don't be such a crybaby. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. What's going on? Emily's banker, Jim Archer. He asked me to sew a dress together for him because he can't pay the dressmaker to finish it. And the dress is for... His wife. He says his bank is on the brink of ruin. Goodness! <laughs> Is if Mr. Archer really is hard up for money, he may be willing to stoop pretty low to get it. My thoughts exactly. 
<gasps> That's it for now. She Bye. Talked to oh, and if you call oh, yeah. back and we're not here, it means we went to see this movie called The Big Trail. Yeah, this guy named John Wayne, isn't wow. it? Helen says he's a real dreamboat. We'll let you know if she's right. Oh, wow. I think my grandma used to used to really like him. Drop a nickel into the slot, please. We did. Very good. Oh. Now, how may I be of my service? Dad. Hi, Mr. Kowski. Could you please connect me with my dad? His number is KL57187. Hang on a minute. Carson Drew. Hi, Dad. Did you pick those papers up? <laughs> that was yeah. a long time ago. Great. You can yeah. give them to me tonight when you get home from Emily's. So, what else have you been doing? Wow. A lot. I'm earning money by delivering telegrams for Tubby's Telegrams. Good for you. That's a great way to meet people and to accumulate a little cash, which might come in handy. You're putting extra wear and tear on your car, you know. <laughs> yes, Dad. <laughs> What else have you been up to? Emily invited me to Lilac Inn because she wanted me to have you lock her mother's jewelry up in your safe. Only someone stole it before I could take it with me. Stole it? Good gosh. Yeah. It exploded kitchen. Oh, that was right after the stove in the kitchen exploded. <laughs> the stove exploded? <laughs> yeah. Sounds to me like you'd be well advised to cut your visit there short. No. I want to find out what's going on. I have to find out what's going on. You oh. have to? <laughs> well, yeah. You know, Emily just lost her mom, and she's worried about losing the inn, and her guardian's all wet when it comes to helping out. All oh, wet. And the truth <laughs> is, you are so curious that you feel like you'll absolutely <laughs> burst if you don't find out why all these weird things have been happening, right? Yes. <laughs> don't worry, I know the feeling. You're a chip off the old block, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, as long as you're like me in one other way, you should be fine. What way is that? Smart? Careful. Ah. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I saw the car belonging to Emily's banker parked at the side of the road by the Lilac Inn this morning, just before the explosion. Are you suggesting Emily's banker was somehow responsible for the explosion? It's odd that his car would be there, don't you think? It's okay to have your suspicions, Nancy. But in a town as small as Titusville, it's very easy to alienate people. Until you know the facts, you'd be well advised to keep your suspicions to yourself. Smart. I met Emily's guardian, Jane. What does a guardian do, anyway? A guardian is pretty much a surrogate parent. Jane is legally responsible for Emily's physical and financial well-being. Jane doesn't strike me as being the parental type. In fact, I get the impression she's in way over her head. Fortunately for her, it's not forever. Most guardianships end when the ward turns 18. Then both Jane and Emily will be free to do whatever they please. If Emily sells the inn, will Jane get part of the profits? If she's Emily's guardian at the time of the sale, yes. Are you suggesting that Jane's primary motivation is greed? Good grief. Where did you get such a suspicious mind? <laughs> I think it was from the person who has always told me that the best way to solve a problem is to look at all the possibilities. Dad. <laughs> Dad. I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. See you tonight. So accusatory. Dad. I think we should play mini golf. <gasps> because we didn't do that at all this stream. True. Today. Let us go. We need to collect all the ponies. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> play all the golf. And this is where Do you, you have put money? the score cards that you don't have. Yeah! We have no more money, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're exactly at zero. We need to make more money. That's um, okay. But yeah, let's, let's, let's do golf. You do golf this time. All right. I'll do it next time. Okay. Do you want to, like, switch off every every course or something? Uh, no, you... Uh, well, um... Unless, if you want, if you want... I'll, like a, I'll play the game tomorrow. Okay. But you go ahead and do it this time. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Swing, bada bada. Oh, no! Nice. <laughs> We're off to a great start. Fantastic. Das ponies. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Mini goal. No! No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no! No, no, no! Oh, no. <laughs> Rats! This butterfly is not wearing any boots. <gasps> See? That's just so wrong. That is wrong. Butterfly needs to wear boots. Too hard. No, 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 no. Pretty colored mushrooms, though, too. Right? Ah. Seven. All right. We'll, we'll make up for it. It'll be Go good. Go through that hole. Okay. Okay. Aim and fire. No! Oh. Rats! Yes! Ha, 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 ha. 
Jabber, 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 jabber. Woo! Yes. Yes, more golf. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Okay, we can do this. And we're gonna get that middle one. Yeah! yeah! Woo! I love these little animations. It's so I know. fun. It's fun. This was this is this used to be the, the my favorite part of of this whole golf course. It's just this little section right here. It's like, oh I'm on a roller coaster yes. and playing golf at the same time. Uh bam Alright. Alright. Okay, okay. If we can just if we could just time this right how many Nancy Drew books you guys have you each read? No! Oh no! That's not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> Rats! Okay, okay. If we do this. Yeah! Yeah! Pirate party! <laughs> Mamuli, you read three? Mm. Okay, wait. If I can do. I can do this. Can do this. You can do this. Brittany Bay, she have all the yellow hardbacks. Great. Scriptwriter, Red Ford, Andrew, 5, 45, 5, Hannah Hufflepuff, Hannah Hufflepuff, 7. <laughs> uh, Mimuli, where are you, where do you, what area do you live in? You don't have to be specific, but like what country or um, state or region? No, no, no. Secret books, no. you've got all, you own all the yellow hardbacks too. I did it! Yes! I had recently read like the first 20 books and I was surprised to Looks find like that I actually enjoyed them still as an adult. A lot of it's, it's just an entertaining, like they're entertaining stories anyway, you yeah. know, it's like. Yeah! Yeah! A pony! We need to earn more money so that I can play golf tomorrow. <laughs> We could go deliver a telegram. We could do that. We still have one for, what, Bash's Dairy? I think so. <laughs> Isn't that, like, right down the street? Yeah, something like that. Alright. We're gonna go deliver a telegram. And then we'll we'll be right back. After these messages. Ah. Smart. Good thinking. Skippy Nancy Drew, we still have a chance to win one more mug oh, tonight I at the, after the end of this stream. Just up there, yeah. In the puddle. Oh, there we go. Hi, Mr. Jones. <laughs> I've got a telegram here for Molly. She's in the milking shed. I'll give it to her. Say, I got some freshly churned butter here. <laughs> That's okay. Bye. It's like, I can't really, I mean, I have to hold this in my car, so... Unless you've got, like, a nice little container and a little refrigeration unit, then... Correct, Mystery Cat. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Here's one for Audrey out at Blenheim Nursery. Keep up the good work. Oh, Blenheim Nursery. That's that's the furthest one out, right? I think, well, I know it's the one that's by the the, the inn. Because uh, I remember I remember seeing it on the way up to the fascist dairy. Because I thought it was right oh, next to us. Yeah, then no, that's the easy wasn't. one right there. Okay. Whoop. Hello, I've got a telegram here for Audrey. I'll see that she gets it. Just leave it on the desk. My hands are still really filthy. That's okay. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, Rose Hollow, it does remind me of Kit from the American Girl <laughs> stories. 1930s, Great Depression era. All these references. Ah, there we go. There's the telegram thing. Ah, there we go. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Take this to Margaret Judson at the Deer Mountain Resort. Cool. Keep up the good work. It's right away. I know, nowadays with some things like butter being so expensive, if you learn how to make it yourself, you could be saving money. But I mean, it takes up time, so... Hello, Actually, I, I have a telegram here fast. for Margaret to Judson. Yep. She'll be huh. delighted, I'm sure. I'll take it to her, thank you. Bye! I mean, all you need is like heavy whipping cream. And then you get to shake it! a bit, whip it up, and then if you wanted to add salt, you just kind of just keep whipping and whipping. Did you ever do that that thing in school where it's like they had those little containers filled with the cream, then you had to just shake it for a while until it turned into oh, butter? Huh. No, we, I didn't. I didn't do that. Oh, oops. But um, I do know of a. I've only got half a tank of gas left. 
butter you should recipe. Gas up you just need a get. blender for. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <Get back laughs> did you get a telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Remotely? This one goes to Wait, Counselor Ed out at Camp Avondale. Keep up the good work. Yes, homemade ice cream is amazing. <clears throat> Um, although recently, because I've been into baking a lot, um, I want to make my own vanilla extract because it was like $23 a bottle last time I was at Costco or whatever. So Dang. it takes like six months to make because I have to sit in the, oh. sit in the stuff. But you know Hi, what? Hi, Alice. Is Counselor Ed around? He has Sorry. a telegram. <laughs> I no think he's down at the swim dock. I'll take it to him. Thank you. Bye. Apparently right now... Um, there's like a shortage of vanilla beans. There is? So even if you did buy the original vanilla bean pods as is and make your own, eventually it comes out to like the same cost as if you were going to go and buy your own vanilla extract. Oh. Because it's just vanilla beans that are expensive right now because they're shortage. They're did shortage. you deliver that telegram? I, that. I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This one's for Mrs. Perkins at Sunnybrook Farms. Keep up the good work. All right, I'm going to oh. gas and then we're going to go back to the thing. Yes. I mean, the Costco size of vanilla extract that I got for $23 was about this size of this, like, bottle here. Welcome to Zippy's, <laughs> where zipless service is zippily zapped, and zippy, zippy service, service is the, the zippiest. Zippy. Fill her up. <laughs> Just 25 cents worth, please. That'll be 25 cents. Here you go. Drive zippily. <laughs> and yeah, we do make homemade ice cream at home because we have a KitchenAid stand mixer and the the um, ice cream bowl unit that attaches to it and it just sits there and it mixes and it mixes forever and then you freeze it and then voila that's homemade so ice cream with like three or four ingredients so good that sounds delicious oh is that what you think it is Neon Leon a drought in uh, Madagascar yeah the Madagascar oh. and vanilla Yes, Damien, we are working on getting a hockey team. It's a very slow process, but we just recently announced our president. We don't have a team yet. <laughs> Still trying to figure out the um, stadium yeah. issue. Not stadium, but um, the arena. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a... Because Seattle is... It's complicated. Yep. It's an interesting predicament. But it would be cool. Oh, it's time to call it a day, you guys! Oh. Save it, save it, save it! Oh, da, da, da. Save. Intellectually above average. Save. Yes! We want to replace that. Yes. Woo. Boom, Look at us go. bam. Alright, you guys, <laughs> tomorrow is actually going to be a shorter stream, so um, we're trying to stretch it out as long as we possibly can with fun facts. I'm going to try to find some bonus content to share with you tomorrow, if I can. Um, sure. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, this, don't forget to get this game on sale. Yes. I think we said that like two or three times, but yeah. just making sure. So the end of joy. Sunday. End yes. of Sunday, yes. It, because Nancy Drew's official anniversary is Saturday, actually. Yes. So. Yeah. It's pretty exciting I'm stuff. Try I'm gonna try to find some bonus content for you guys. I can't really. I mean, I saw. I showed you the picture of the cat. There's that. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was great. That was. <laughs> yes. Do we need to see that again? <laughs> I think so. Do we need to see? Let me see if I can't find that. Uh, it was Who so funny. That? Oh, sorry. Wow. That was exciting. Um. Let's see. It's right in. <laughs> oh no, it's not in there. It's in. I put it in the Twitch folder. Aha! Uh -huh. Open up Twitch folder. <laughs> there it is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, come on. <laughs> okay, I'll we'll put that over here where you guys can see it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Oh boy. It's great. Kitty cat! <laughs> that is the cat that we roughly based our design on for Yuri. It's a Persian. Of some sort. I think Yuri ran into a wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> oh, love cat. <laughs> this one just looks creepy though. <laughs> Majestic <can> indeed. True. <laughs> yeah. Rory Danner's evil twin. Yes. 
That's exactly it. That <laughs> is the men of the year calendar picture right there, <laughs> I'm telling ya. Move over, Richard Topham. Yes. It's Yuri the cat. Look at those Constant whiskers. Porcelain. Oh, that grief. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like it's so lovely. Like an angry sea captain gazing out over the ocean. <laughs> 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 I know, creepster K. Um, wow. Okay, this will this video will be up on YouTube later. Yes. Uh, come back tomorrow for the finale, where you have a chance to win four more mugs. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, we have one more randomly selected out of all the participants who showed yes. up today in chat for the very last mug we're giving away today. Today, today, today. <laughs> the winner is a drum roll. Owen W. Spader. Hooray! Congratulations, Owen W. Spader. Yes. If you are here, please private message. Well, private message us. Uh, whisper to us. <laughs> you, it looks like remember that. Yeah, you know how to private whisper to us. Looks like you are. Yeah. Uh, your name and your mailing address so that we can send it to you. Yes. Congratulations, Owen W. Spader. Hooray! And thank you to everyone for joining today. Yes, thank you guys for so. participating. Thank you guys for chatting and asking questions and joining our community. Yeah. Fantabulous for the Nancy Drew 88th anniversary. Am I missing anything? Uh, we said the sale, we said the mugs, we said the I like stuff. how you have a whole bunch more <laughs> than I do. Because I was distracted. You were so distracted. <laughs> Oh well. I'm gonna I'm gonna go eat my cookies now because I'm really excited about my cookies. Nice. C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. <laughs> Those bees knees. <laughs> True. Don't take any wooden nickels. Yes, Butterfly that's our boots. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly boots. <laughs> my bloomers. All right, you guys. We're gonna stop goofing off and uh, we'll uh, we'll be back tomorrow. So you guys. So thanks for joining. Please come again tomorrow. And we should say our sign off. Yes. You remember our sign off? The yeah. Nickels. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good. Three, two, one. Don't, Don't take, take any wooden nickels. nickels. Goodbye. Sweet. See y'all later. We should turn some music off. Oh, good call. Excellent.